Hey everybody, this is RTS Targe here with another video review, this time of the McFarland Toys Taylor Reach Skirmisher Miner. Uh, this is Series 2. They're finally out. Um, yeah, so, Covenant, of course. 22 moving parts. New character! Skirmisher Miner. Render! McFarland Toys logo thing. Here are some of the other figures. Um, yeah, I got this at Target. It was about 10 bucks. Series 2 has been out for a while. I'm sorry I haven't done any reviews of them till now. Um, yeah, sorry about that. It's just so much going on. Um, of these, I have this one, this one, this one, this one. So far I've done this review, and I'm currently doing this one. I've not done the review of Carter or Cat, but I'll do them directly after I finish this one. Um, so basically, all I need to do is get some of the CQCs. I think I'll get the red one. I don't know. Just saying. Um, which is, which I found at Target. And it does not have the uh, little E by him. Which means that supposedly he is not um, a Target exclusive, but all the red ones have been, so just good guess that he is. Um, so, yeah, this has been RTS Targe. See you in the next part of the review. Hey everybody, this is RTS Targe here with the second part of the review on the Skirmisher Miner, and I have to say this thing is a bitch to get to stand upright. Excuse the language, but I probably spent about 10 minutes trying to get him to stand upright. And so I'm not going to touch him until he eventually falls down, which hopefully he won't. He looks fairly stable right now. It's just that if I touch him, he's going to just keel over. Um, he looks scary. Yeah. So, the reason he is really difficult to get to stand up right is because his foot is about a half inch long maybe even a quarter inch no somewhere between there maybe a third of an inch yeah so then maybe a quarter inch across and so that's all you have if that's your footprint and you know you aren't animate and so, yeah, it's just really difficult to get to stand up. So, articulation. I believe the, the head is just on a swivel this way. Then there is a ball hinge on the shoulder, and then a swivel on the upper arm, and then a hinge on the elbow, then another swivel on the forearm, then a, I guess it's a, it's a, it's a hinge, except it's stepped like a ball hinge, and then there's a swivel on the... I guess I would call it a ball hinge. Yeah, okay, it's a ball hinge. On the wrist. Uh, I do not believe there is any... Well, yeah, there, are, there isn't any articulation on the torso. It's all one solid piece. And there's a ball joint on the hip. Then there's a ball hinge here on the forward knee. And all this is solid until you get right here, which is another ball hinge. And that thing, it was really tight, whereas this was really loose. And also, it started off where it would rotate this way, which it can't do. So I had to manipulate it so that it would rotate this way so it would do anything. Um, and both of them were like that, which gives me a hint that they're all like that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's very well painted, and it lost some detail, sort of, on the shin. I don't know, just did. Uh, the feathers, they are bendable. Um, yeah. Uh, so, one interesting thing that I shall note is that you know how uh, they have the uh, sort of octagonal 
undersuit or whatever you call it. On the upper torso, they are diamond weave. And I can't really spot any on the lower torso, which is interesting. So, yeah. So, um, I'll get a shot of the head on the camera. This thing's evil. It does. Is that its tongue? Yeah, it's its tongue. Okay. Now, yeah, which will fall over first? Okay. Now to make it fall down. Um, so this is sort of on a little joint right here. Um the feathers and yeah so on the back there there is no peg hole anywhere on this oh there's also a tool here um oh there's a bit of articulation here yeah there's a bit of articulation um the fingers could have been a bit better. They don't move in any way. And so there's really, it's really difficult to get them to hold the forward end of the needle rifle. And it's a bit difficult to get them to hold the trigger assembly or whatever you call it. Uh, needle rifle. It's new bendable plastic. Um, really nice, actually. It has a peg hole here, which means you don't lose any detail on the really important bits. Well, it does cut through a little tangular indentation. Um, yeah, it's the same purple color as the uh, plasma grenades. No more purple. Anyways. Um, yeah, nice little green glowy thingies, the needles. Yeah, so, oh, little sight things, I guess. I don't know. Came with a peg hole. Well, no, a peg, sorry. And has a peg hole. Um, but, as I said, there's no place, there's no peg holes on the figure itself, so that that's more of a you know for when you put it on someone else. Except for the grenade. Uh, there's there's no place to put the grenade. Um so I shall foolishly attempt to get him to stand upright. He is um going to lunge at someone or something, I don't know. Okay, when, once you figure out how to get him to stand upright, I guess it's fairly easy. Um, but I'm not going to move the arms or anything. So he was ten dollars. I got him at Target. Cheers, two is out. Yay! It's been out for a while. My apologies for being so late on the reviews. I'm sure you've seen some reviews of them already. Unless I'm the only guy you follow. Um, in which case. Good for you. Yeah, it's, it's always good to get a second opinion. So maybe Commander Picara, he's he's sort of the guy I follow. Um, one nine eight, I think. Yeah, shout out to him. Good for you, man. Yeah. So um, I would give him probably an eight and a half. Um, no, no. Nine. I mean, the articulation, once you figure it out, I guess it's okay. Um, that, that's really the only thing I have against him. I mean, besides the fact that he has no peg holes and there's no place to put the grenades. But then again, have you ever seen a skirmisher throw a plasma grenade? I don't think I have. Um, yeah, but 
Need a rifle. Thumbs up for that. Um. Yeah. Nine out of ten. Well, yeah. I mean, new figure. I've never gotten a jackal of any sort. I mean, these are their evil cousins. So, um, never had a jackal figure of any sort. So I can't really compare it to any. I mean, I don't have any. Uh, all my all my Halo figures are Halo Reach. I didn't get any when three was out. Mostly since I got my Xbox. In for Christmas 2009 okay I had beaten the three campaign about a month before reach came out okay so yeah I mean I didn't think of doing this until reach was out so what can I say um now yeah, it's really good paint R very detailed I mean Really, my only thing against it is it is a bit difficult to get to stand up right, and the hands could be a bit better shape, I guess. I don't know. Placed differently. Not placed, but, you know, doing something else. Or at least for a different... This hand could be sort of doing a grip so it could hold that. So I think I've rambled on long enough and I'll have to do this the long way to get it on YouTube since iMovie will not upload anything over 10 minutes. I sad. Oh, 10 minutes for this part. Okay, so, rate, comment, subscribe. This has been RTS Targe. See you again later.